I'm Slava for the Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The best thing about Firebase is its developer community. To celebrate our developer community, we started a new series called Firebase Stories, where you will hear from the developers and founders from around the world about their app development journeys and using Firebase tools. The first couple stories are already available on our website. Check out the link in the description to learn how Favs is simplifying apparel purchasing using Firebase real-time database and how Moya is redefining mobility in the cities. Last but not least, we want to hear from all members of our community, including you. Use the hashtag Firebase Stories on your social channels to share how Firebase empowers you throughout your app development journey. The Indie Games Festival shines a spotlight on some of the best games on Google Play and celebrates the passion and creativity that small game studios bring to gamers worldwide. We announced the list of finalists in Europe, Japan, and South Korea. We also want to invite you to attend the festival finals on September 3rd. The finals will be held in a custom virtual world where you can meet the people behind the finalist games, explore the titles, have fun with gamers from around the world, and be the first to discover the winners. Speaking about games, you might remember earlier this year, Flutter team announced the Flutter Casual Games Toolkit. The Flutter Casual Games Toolkit includes Firebase Crashlytics, which is a powerful crash reporting solution that helps you detect, track, prioritize, and fix issues in real time. The Crashlytics dashboard allows you to visualize issues in your code, see how many users are affected, and figure out which lines of code are causing them. Learn how with Rich Hall in his new article on Flutter Media. We are excited to announce the Google Universal Image Embedding Challenge, hosted by Kaggle in collaboration with Google Research and Google Lens. In this challenge, we ask participants to build a single universal image embedding model capable of representing objects from multiple domains at the instance level. We believe that this is the key for real-world visualization search applications, such as augmenting cultural exhibits in a museum, organizing photo collections, visual commerce, and more. The challenge was launched on Kaggle in July and will be open until October, with cash prizes totaling $50,000. The winning teams will be invited to present their methods at the Instance Level Recognition Workshop at ECCV 2022. And to help you warm up to the Kaggle challenge, I'd like to mention a new article on TensorFlow blog by Dinko Franceschi. Dinko shares an easy-to-follow walkthrough of how to get started with a Kaggle notebook using TensorFlow decision forests. The coolest part is that you can implement a decision forest in TensorFlow with just a few lines of code. Decision trees are easy to process and understand compared to neural networks. Moreover, this relatively simple model often outperforms a neural network on many Kaggle problems. Learn more on TensorFlow blog. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Slava for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.